Baku the Moon Eater is for some reason back in standard, even though the last time we had it, it had to be rotated out an entire year early. But it's a legendary minion that says at the start of the game, if our deck contains only odd cost cards, we upgrade our hero power. And for us as a warrior, that means the hero power is going to be giving us four armor. So we're going to be tanking up. And you know what other odd cost legendary is obscenely broken? Reno Lone Ranger. So we're going for both Odd and Highlander with this build. Unfortunately, Warrior's class-specific Reno payoff, Bran, is not Odd cost, so we have to find another win condition, but that's fine because we have Odin. A 9-mana Legendary that says for the rest of the game, whenever we gain armor, we also gain that much attack. And that's pretty good when our hero power gives us 4 armor. We can also play the new promo Legendary from the upcoming set, Marin the Manager. A 7 mana 6 6 that gives us a fantastic treasure and shuffles the other three into our deck. All these treasures are pretty powerful, but we're usually going to be going for Wondrous Wand, which is 3 mana to draw 3 cards and set their cost to 0. So we can potentially cheat up to 24 mana if we really high roll with it. Odin. Against Priest, I think I might just keep the most expensive card in my deck. Could be dumb. Love Scarab Keychain. They could also be Baku. Coward. Uh, I think I like Keychain over Town Crier here. Oh, yes, because I can play Murloc freaking Tidehunter next turn. Hmm. I think I'm taking one of the Rushers. I'm not sure if 3-1 or 2-2 is better. Obviously, the Rolling Stone can be a 3-3, but it's not that reliable. I mean, I guess I just play it next turn, right? Not a matchup where I need to be too worried about tanking up. They had a 25% chance to win the game here, which is very fun for a single 2-drop. Wait, did they steal my card with this? No, I don't think so. Uh, I guess I just want to draw a card. Yeah, I can play that. I am, like, there is a little bit of pressure for me to kill this Dirty Rat so they can't, uh, Power Cord synchronize it and rat me again. But I don't think it's something I need to be too, too worried about. Can probably wait until turn 6 or 7 to kill it with Trial by Fire. Could also just play Frog here, hit Lazul, and then kill a rat. Leaves me with, what, a 3-2? Not super good on board. But what's the other play? Shield block, maybe? Might want to save shield block for post-Odin. You know what? I'm just going to play the frog. Whatever, it's fine. Not a great card, and as I said, I'm a little bit scared of the rat. No, now they can copy my Odin and use their armor? Oh, they broke their Love Everlasting already. That's good. Uh, what are we doing here? Probably starting with a trade. Vezax. I don't care if they copy Vezax. Kind of feeling tank up pass. Is that crazy? I don't think so. Wow, they had Sync for the Rat and didn't go for it. 
Probably a missed opportunity. This is not a terrible puppet theater target, but I can't imagine they'd be too happy to hit it. They're probably pretty happy to hit that. So they're going to be showing 10 damage here. Oh wait, they still can run into this. Wait, they're showing like no damage. I just coin Odin, right? Dude, I still have Vezax in play. That's scary. I do have a brawl. Oh, come on. Um, I've also got... Oh, well, I do have MC Tech to steal this, but they used the powerful one. I guess I get MC Tech to steal this, maybe. Wait, what is... What does this do? Choose a non-Titan minion, summon a copy of it with plus two, plus two. So I could steal this, and then take this, and then cleave. Isn't that kind of freaking sick? Tess Greymane? There's no way Tess is good, right? I mean, this is a Reno card. What about Rafam? Replacing my deck seems kind of shitty. I guess it's this guy. I'm doing this. Alright, this is fine. I don't even know if this was my best play this turn, but MC teching Amonthul is kind of swag. We both got Eldarin. Maybe MC teching it wasn't that swag when they have Puppet Theater. Hollowhound's not too scary. What is this draw? I still have Zilliax in deck and Musician. Okay, good to know. Probably not too relevant. I think this might just be a trial by fire. I have to send so much into this though. This is just, I mean, whatever I'm doing, I want to hero power their face. Hmm, I guess this heals them for seven. Maybe I shield slam this hero power. I have seven mana. This needs to die for sure. But then I can trial by fire and go like one, two, three. All right, sure. As long as they get Odin for four. By the way, I could have played this card earlier and chose not to because Technically, I can get, like, two more damage out of a Razorfin Rockstar in the future. Might matter. Probably won't. Well, what if I hit Yogg or Reno here? Unlucky. Like, in Hero Power Armor Vendor to one-shot this... Maybe Night Elf Hunters is pretty good here. Let me target you again, please. No. I guess I can Felder Run instead of Hero Powering. Hero Power makes them heal four. All right, fine. I wasn't really planning this from the start of the turn, so I don't know if there was a better way to do this, but 
I don't know. I got my Night Elf Hunters to hit Zilliax twice. That's pretty good. Are they really Madame Lazuled my Odin? Why, though? Alright, let's see if this is good. Wow. Uh, I mean, I don't really need the Stone Drake yet. But what if I put Slagma on hand and just never play it? The Slagma probably rots in hand until Marin finds Golden Kobold and transforms it. This is a pretty annoying Yogg. But I do have a Yogg of my own. I have a Reno. Surely I can hit one of them. No. Could brawl here, I guess. They do have two pretty scary minions. I think I'm going to start by trading this. And golly, I'm glad I did. I do lose my tank up hero power doing that. But I do immediately push 10 damage. It's probably fine. You've been renoed. What an interesting hero power to start the turn. That's heavy plate. I had lethal. This could be even warlock, which I think might be pretty scary. No, nothing spicy. I mean, my guess is this is probably just uh, Fatigue, Warlock, whatever that deck is called. So gaining a bunch of armor with Razorfin Rockstar seems pretty nice. Wind Fury, it's pretty bad here. Well, I think my Rockstar is dying. It got four armor. I'm already up to 50. I believe the 6-6 six, six Reborn is the only thing I'm scared of here. I guess getting milled is situationally pretty annoying, but we'll see. Even if they play a big thing, Bellowing Flames is pretty good against it. Divine Shield, sure. And I'm at 24. Rin. Rin. Oh, gosh. I guess I'm executing it. 
And I don't really mind. Well, I guess I can Bellowing Flames instead of Execute, but Execute's fine, I think. And I don't really mind... Actually, I could even Night Elf Huntress and Execute and push this 3 damage to their freaking head. But it makes the discards a little bit worse for me if I'm playing 2 cards. Let's just Execute and see what happens. They lost their Rafam. Lost my Marut. Not too bad. I'm just happy I got to keep Marin. Definitely should have played this before hero power. Armor! I don't know, probably not the right pick, but... Getting more armor is funny when I'm at 58. Uh, I do have this Vezax coming down. They are probably just gonna straight up need Sargeras to deal with it. Or Yogg. But those are both kind of far away. Actually, this could... this probably is a Reno deck, actually. Just looking at all the garbage they've played. So, uh, Vezax is probably not going to be too much of an issue for them. But it might take a while before they can finally deal with it. Very annoying. I do hate to miss a hero power when I've got Vezax, but I think I might just bump and play Marin. My preferred outcome. That is this guy. Is Rin a demon? I don't know if she can be revived by that. Siphon Soul. Why didn't you hit the 7 6 instead of the 6 6? Uh, trial by Fire. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, it does let me push 9 freaking damage. But I guess I could also go, like, Wand, and then Bellowing Flames, and then just bump this. Let's play Wand. Golden Kobold. Replace your hand with Legendary Minions. Um, hmm. I don't think I want to replace it quite yet. Let's see what this hits. Let's take this and replace it. Fuck it. Very questionable, Kobold. <gasps> Reno card! Uh, again? Okay, I'm playing again and Baku deck. Replicator Inator, 1, 5, and 8. Maybe that works with Origami Frog? Not totally sure how that plays out. And I guess I could technically copy Odin, but this is probably bad. Could have been good if I still had my Razor Mane, Rocks, Razor Fen, Rockstar. Uh, Terum's good. Katrina Muerte. Are you undead? I don't think Katrina Muerte does anything in my deck. But maybe I'll be surprised. Powerful. Get frogged. Definitely seems likely that Reno Warlock would have Rustrot Viper, but we'll see. They tapped down to 14, which is how much I'm showing. Okay, big heal. There's just no way I've got lethal. If 
but this does have execute, so I could just tap this, execute it, and push seven, which seems pretty good. Origami Frog is pretty nice. It doesn't really spend my mana super well, but I think that's fine. Dude, I'm Frog Warrior. Uh, pretty relevant amount of healing here. Okay, it's a lot of healing. MC Tech is pretty irrelevant. You know, I haven't even been thinking about Thunderbringer, but it does summon Baku, which is kind of sick. Do I need to kill this? I really feel like I don't need to kill this. Let's see if I regret this. Kinda scary, but... I was gonna say, unless it's a Thunderbringer that does something impressive, it's probably not too scary. Have to wait and see if it does something impressive. Ah, lost the 50-50. Hit Viper instead of Baku. I believe I still have lethal here with Toy Captain Tarim. As long as this doesn't do something too scary. Uh, what could this possibly hit that would, I should be scared of? There's just no way it's scary. <laughs> okay, we both got vipers. Love a Scarab. These cards actually look kind of similar. They're both blue guys going in this direction. Hey, it's Otterog. We got ourselves a classic matchup here. I mean, I guess Safety Goggles is pretty good. Does Furious Furnace ever do anything for me? Probably not. I cannot do that. Oh, because of this thing. I could shield slam this and then make this attack. Odd Rogue is pretty scary. I don't know how responsible this was, but I think if I just don't get murdered early, it should be a good matchup for me. Tank up. Wow, I can hard counter their weapon here. Or I can draw a better card. Seems like my opponent's playing an aggro deck, and on their turn 4, I'm at 44. 
so I'm feeling pretty good. Can slam execute that, or I guess I just play the frog, right? Ribbit. Probably just gonna slam that, but let's see what I can draw into here. Oh, observer. Ah. Get frogged. Wait, I kind of want that Restaurant Viper back now. What if I hit him with the Big Tempo Marin? Hopefully after playing Crown, I have so much damage that missing the five here doesn't really matter. Yes, trade. Trade! I'm pretty scared of that Disciple, though. Therizane. I don't play any elementals. Oh, I have a Steam Guardian. I mean, I guess I do get a Therizane in hand, too. So the two in play are going to make it a 28-20. And then that Therizane is going to make my Steam Guardian a 24-24. It's kind of hype. Probably just responsible to take Nomelia, though. Bargain Bin and Azerite Vein. Alright. 